the experiment is active filters. The aim of the experiment is to design and test the low pass and high pass filters using operational amplifier IC741. So these are the components required. So we will need an operational amplifier uh, IC741, resistors and capacitors. So signal generator for generating the input signal, oscilloscope to view the output signal, uh, breadboard, supply and the connecting wires for the uh, hardware part. So this is the circuit diagram for the first order low pass filter. So the first order low pass filter we will be using only one RC uh, section for the first order. Uh, here the input signal is given through the first uh, RC section then fed to the non-inverting terminal of the op amp and uh, the inverting terminal the input resistance is given and output at the sixth pin the output is fed through the feedback network uh, through RF equal to 10 kilo volts given to the inverting pin and the output signal is measured at the sixth pin supply connections given at seventh pin and the fourth pin so this is the general uh, circuit of the low pass filter uh, so this uh, circuit is going to filter the low frequency components and allow the high frequency signal. Let us see the design. So we are going to design for a passband gain of 2 and cutoff frequency of 5 kilohertz. So since this is a non-inverting amplifier, since we are giving the input signal to the non-inverting terminal, the gain of this uh, op amp is uh, 1 plus RF by RI. So based on the passband gain of 2, we are choosing the resistance feedback resistance and the input resistance to be the same value which is around 10 kilo ohms. So we choose a cutoff frequency of 1 by 2 pi RC equal to 5 kilohertz and uh, the capacitor value is chosen as 0 0.01 microfarad. So based on this uh, design the resistor value is found to be 3 kilo ohms. So this is the model graph for the low pass filter. So we are plotting the gain, voltage gain versus frequency. This is the response of the low pass filter. The pass band of the filter lies in the low frequency range and the stop band is in the high frequency. And uh, from the maximum gain we are observing a cutoff frequency Fc below the 3 decibel. So the procedure is connect the circuit, apply a 100 millivolt 100 hertz sinusoidal input which is the uh, given from the waveform generator vary the frequency from 100 hertz to 30 kilohertz and measure the output voltage for various frequencies of the input signal so this is the frequency range of interest we are varying the signal and observing the gain of the low pass filter then plot the frequency response graph and calculate the cutoff frequency so these are the observation uh, made the input voltage is chosen as a small signal which is around 100 millivolt and the frequency is varied between 100 hertz to 30 kilohertz and the output voltage is uh, measured corresponding voltage gain is calculated as output voltage by the input voltage in the decibel scale for the observation for the low pass filter so the design for the high pass filter we are going to design for a cutoff frequency of 5 kilohertz and uh, pass band gain of 2 the input signal is fed through the capacitor in parallel with the resistance to the non-inverting terminal of the op amp and output voltage is measure, measured at the sixth pin. So this is the model graph for the high pass filter where we can observe the pass band in the high frequency range and stop band in the low frequency range. The design specification will remain the same where we choose a cutoff frequency of 5 kilohertz and a capacitor value of 0 0.01 microfarad. The resistor value is found to be 3 kilo ohms. The procedure remains the same. We are going to calculate the gain of the low high pass filter by varying the frequency from 100 hertz to 30 kilohertz and measure the output for various frequency of the input signal. Plot the frequency response graph. So make the observations based on varying the frequency range. Calculate the output voltage corresponding voltage gain in decibel. So let us see the simulation results. So we have connected the low pass filter using op amp IC741. The supply connections given 7th pin uh, positive VCC and 4th pin negative VCC. Input signal is 100 millivolt, 100 hertz fed through the RC network and it is given to the positive terminal and uh, the negative terminal input resistance of 10 kilo ohms and feedback resistance from 6th pin to the 2nd pin 
connected to the negative terminal of the op amp and output is observed at the sixth pin so here we have connected directly the body plot body plotter where we can directly observe the frequency response of the low pass filter so i'm going to run the circuit so i observe a frequency response plot by varying the frequency and the gain so here i observe the magnitude response the horizontal scale is the frequency and the vertical scale is the gain of the low pass filter so here i fix the scale from 20 hertz to 1 megahertz in the horizontal scale vertical scale it is between minus 100 decibel to 100 decibel for the vertical scale so as we can see i can scroll the cursor so i vary the frequency so this is my pass band till my 5 kilohertz is my pass band and from here is my stop band so low pass filter cut off frequency is 5 kilohertz where we measure the 3 decibel frequency below the maximum gain at 5 kilohertz design we are observing a cut off frequency at 5 kilohertz 3 decibel frequency is observed so this is the response for the low pass filter observed so i can observe the high pass filter results so here i give my input signal to the capacitor parallel with the resistor to the positive terminal of the op amp and to the negative terminal i feed sixth pin through the feedback resistor to the negative terminal and output is observed at the sixth pin so here the body plotter is connected between input and an output so i can run this high pass filter so i can observe the initially the gain is negative in the low frequency range which means it is the stop band and the high frequency range is the pass band so i can observe the 3 decibel frequency at 5 kilohertz which is my theoretical cut off frequency at 5 kilohertz i am able to observe the theoretical cut off frequency or it is the 3 decibel frequency so this is the range for the x and y axis for the magnitude plot horizontal and the vertical scale so based on this we can make the observation and plot the magnitude uh, Uh, response for the low pass filter and high pass filter